Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today I want to show you how to create a really nice bokeh for cheap. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Now, I think we can agree that everybody loves a nice creamy bokeh in the background. No matter if you photograph an object or your friend or even your cat, bokeh is just nice. But usually, if we think about bokeh, we think about something like this. I just bought this. It's a Sigma 85mm 1.4 art lens for full frame. And this one is 1100 euros. So when you click the purchase button, you cry a little bit, but then the pain goes away as soon as you take the first pictures because this is just an amazing lens. But we want to talk about a cheap option. Of course, you can do it digitally in software. I've actually created already three videos on my channel. One on how to create bokeh in the background, one on how to create bokeh balls, and one on how to create depth of field effect. I will link all of them in the video description. But now look at this picture over here. No, it's on this side actually. What would you think has the lens cost that I took this picture with? You can see it's nice, crisp, sharp, and nice bokeh in the background. Was it a 2000 euro lens? 1000? 500 euros? No, it was actually under 100 euros that you can get it used online. It is this little beauty here. Let me hold it into the camera. So this is a Nikon lens and this is a 50 millimeter 1.4 uh, lens. So it's very fast. It is very crisp and sharp, makes beautiful bokeh as you can see over here on the side. There's a little bit of a downside here. This is an older lens. Now, back in the day, Nikon had the motor for the autofocus in the camera body. And then there was a little connector point. Let me show you. Um, you can see the point right here. This is where it connected to the motor. So this makes it now into a manual focus lens, but there is something you want to look up on the internet. It is called focus peaking. So with your modern cameras, you have a screen on the back and you have a live preview and you can zoom into the live preview. That is called focus peaking. So you zoom onto the point you want to make sharp and then you out, uh, you manually focus onto that and get really nice crisp pictures that are just amazing. And of course your subject shouldn't just jump around and stuff like that because then it's really hard to focus. But on a stationary subject, even a model, you can say hold still now, I will focus. And then I would suggest you take two, three, four pictures so you can be sure that at least one of them is sharp. And then you have really, really nice pictures for very little money with very, very nice bokeh. Something else you should look out for is that with this specific lens, if you open up to 1.4, you get quite a bit of chromatic aberration, which means you get this violet shine around some of the edges. You can fix this in software afterwards, but it's still a problem. You can still set the lens to 2.2 or 2.8 and it's still very fast and you wouldn't have that problem. But just so you know, check out the lens you want to buy with some sample pictures online. Ideally, if you can download them in a raw format, so you can check them out if everything is okay. And then you can really dig into one of these lenses and get started with Bokal. Really good option or you can get for a newer used lens, which would cost you around maybe 200 bucks, maybe if you're lucky 150 bucks and you have very quick, nice autofocus and really cool bokeh. So check out 50 millimeter lenses, 1.4, even 1.8 is really nice. They can get you started in actual real in-camera bokeh. Well, yeah, that's my advice for you today. That's the video. Thank you very much. Maybe join my Facebook group and see you in the next video. Bye.